Mr. Speaker, a 15-year-old in Red Sucker Lake First Nation took his life in his own schoolyard following another suicide in 17 attempts. Red Sucker Lake Chief Knott is clear. This is a crisis. Young people need hope. It's time to fix their half-finished arena and deliver the new school they've been promised, build the regional treatment centre they need, ensure people in poverty can afford basic necessities in the face of sky-high prices. It's time to end the third world living conditions. There can be no true reconciliation without action for communities like Red Sucker Lake. When will the Liberals step up? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, on this side of the House, we completely agree with the member opposite that it is unacceptable to have such levels of disparity across this country for First Nations people. It's why we committed to closing the socioeconomic gaps by 2030. It's why we've redoubled our efforts in investing in infrastructure and mental health and wellness and in supports for communities like Red Sucker Lake across this country. We'll continue, Mr. Speaker, to do more with First Nations partners because every child deserves a fair chance to succeed.